today for today's DIY, it's going to be um, what is it called? I forgot. Um, DIY flower that and a vase, flowers and a vase. Yeah. Wait, focus. Yeah. So um, it's just gonna be like a display where there's like a small pot vase which I'm gonna use cardboards like this and little flowers at the top I'm using these like pieces of cardboards as you might see that they look like excess from like cut off cardboard papers and stuff well you're right because oh yeah um so wait let me just okay yeah okay so now as for the things that you'll need you'll need this um oh stop moving uh where, 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 where? paint marker it's from the brand roco and i'm choosing silver because my theme is going to be silver and um gold this is another same brand and this is a different brand this can be used on t-shirts which i've um done in diy like that before with my friends using this marker yep it's like really suitable for drawing on shirts and it doesn't go off yeah okay and the next thing you'll need is one piece of cardboard or maybe two i'm not sure let me just check yeah just one this size actually just like i got this kind of cardboard from like when you buy you know when you buy toys or packages it comes like sometimes there's random pieces of cardboard inside yeah i just got a piece of cardboard here and now as you can see these looks like cut off excess from some other kinds of projects i guess DIYs, yeah, they're, you're right, because as you can see, um, my mom is actually making like a project, um, which is a frame, because um, one of our friend, not really, not my friend, because like the family is like with boys, so, and they're going to have farewell, farewell like, um, I don't know, farewell something, but not like a farewell party, it's just for safe something I don't know which is gonna be at the desert and it's gonna be tomorrow so I'm really excited and yeah so like when my mom was cutting the project like the cardboard papers off I asked her whether I could take like them to make a DIY and she said yeah just take them anyways she doesn't need them so yeah these are all you need that's all oh wait, wait, wait. Something else, of course, you'll need scissors. And wait, where? Either this kind of glue, like the one I use for the pineapple notebook one, or you can use tape. Um, at the moment, I don't know where's my tape. My room is just kind of messed with a lot of things around. Okay, so let's start the DIY. Okay, so first things first, we'll take this piece of cardboard and the silver paint marker and we're gonna color the cardboard side not the, like the um, smooth and white part just the cardboard side and color it I'm just trying my best not to waste this because like my mom doesn't want me to waste this because like you know I think it's expensive I guess because, like, it's also rare. I've never seen this kind of marker. Paint marker like this. Like, it's just so beautiful and pretty. Ooh, I love it. So, yeah, I just color it all. I'm, okay, so yeah. I just finished coloring it in. So, like, this is how it looks like. It feels like as if it's covered in tin foil somehow. Anyways, yeah. Just one side of it. You don't have to do the other side. Just one side. And now, you just curve it carefully. Don't bend it. Just curve it. Like, make sure it's not, like, bended like this. No, no, just don't make that kind of line. It needs to be curved. Because the pot 
for the flower pot. It's going to be um, like rounded, but actually it's just your choice. It doesn't matter what you want to do. So again, I'm just going to take time doing okay, this. Okay, so once you round it up, there might be a few like, you know, banded parts, but anyways, um, it's just a few. So yeah, I found my, oh wait, this is not my tape, this is finished. Wait, let me just check. It is now. I'm just gonna so I've taped it, taped it together, and this is how it looks like. The pot. Oh my god, it looks like it's square from here. I mean rectangle. Anyways, I just really want it to be like rounded. I don't want it to be square, or whatever. But doesn't matter as long as it looks really cute. Yep. So let's just um, leave this aside. Okay, for now. Oh wait, no. Don't leave it aside for now. We just, right now, I think you should actually get another one of these if you want to make the bottom part. So I'm just gonna I'm back. take another one. Um, yeah, I'm back. So, I took another piece. It's actually the same size, yeah. So I'm just gonna like, put it on top of here and measure it. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a pen. Okay, so just trace it in, trace it inside so like it's could actually really fit well inside. So yeah, that's better. Not from the outside because then it's gonna be a bit bigger than the size you want it to be. So yeah, and oh my gosh, Ugh. yeah, um, just cut it out. Okay, so I cut out, um, cut it, cut circle out, and I pushed it in like this. Oops. Just need to go down a bit. Okay. Okay, let me just put the bit in. Just don't push it much. Okay, so that's okay. <gasps> no, why did I push it? No, no. Okay. Hmm. And now we'll just leave that aside. Now take these strips of paper. I mean, yeah. And now start, um, where's that pen that I used just now? Yeah. I get it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Found it. Okay, so let me just zoom this. No, you can't zoom it. Oh, too bad. Okay. So now just draw like little leaves little leaves like these like these which is actually gonna be flower petals so just draw as much as you want and yeah okay so I've just drew a lot of like random petal sizes, like one of my favorites, like this one and this one, and I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, now you can go ahead and color them in. So I'm going to use these colors. See, okay. So I'm just gonna go use this one first and color it. You could actually just color it over the black lines. Yeah, and I'm going to keep on coloring like silver, gold, black, silver, gold, black. Because that's the theme of my plant. Okay, so I've finished. Color them in, in, as you can see. Gold, black, silver, gold, black, silver, gold, black, silver, gold. I mean, silver, gold, and then <laughs> that's silver. Yeah. Let me just put this away. <sighs> Okay, so now I just cut them all out. Okay, so, so I finished cutting um cut the, cutting them all. Yeah. So you can if there are not enough petals, then you should make more. Yeah, but I'm just making a few so far. Okay, so just put that in a pile at the corner here, and take your sticks. Yeah. 
So you're going to use one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to be making four for now. Because, like, we're not going to make them long. Like, actually, we're going to cut them just into two. Cut them into half. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do that. And, okay. Put them together. And remember, the f they don't have to be the same size because there's all kinds of sizes of flowers or stems. These are going to be stems. So, yeah. Yeah. And now, just put them together. Wait, this one has an extra piece here. Let me just cut that. Or maybe, no, just leave it on. It looks like, you know, some kind of branches. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to... Uh, wait. Okay, so for, so for the next part, um, just put this part. Okay. We're just going to find... I'm going to make a pattern. Silver. Gold. Black. Well, anyway... And then back to silver and then gold. So there should be five petals together. So yeah. For this you would didn't you can't use tape, so you'll have to use these kinds of PVA glue or whatsoever. Hot glue maybe. So yeah. So just put you no know, for here. So start with the first petal here and just put a blob let me just put this here just to make sure the glue is coming out it's coming out okay it's coming out so yeah so if you can see I put some glue already why is it not focusing? Okay, anyways. So just stick the gold one on top of the the other way. The the the, 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 the silver, yes. The silver one. So just repeat it for all five petals. So yeah, I'm going to do it for every single stem that I've cut. And yeah, so see after, um, this is probably going to take me so long, like 10 minutes maybe. So yeah. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I'm, um, I changed my mind. Like I'm not going to make it five petals. I'm going to make it 10 petals. So like five petals here. And five petals here, and I'm just gonna join them, and then it will look like this kind of flower. Yeah, maybe just a bit on top. Yeah, I'll just have to glue it all like that, and add a stem. It looks like one of those, you know, windmills that small kids like to play when they were small. Yeah, I used to have one of those when I was small. So I'm just gonna leave these to dry first, and I'm gonna go ahead and make another. Um, few. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, I've only made three because, like, I don't have enough colors. I've only had, uh, like, four blacks here, so, these are just going to be in at the corner. So, I've only made, like, two complete flowers. This one really just looks so weird. Okay, it's already dried, but I don't know. The glue's still white. Anyways, but this one is just my, f uh, the perfect one. And this is a one part that doesn't f fit. So, okay. So basically I'm just going to 
actually let's see how it goes inside I think we should have like we have to cut this a bit I mean yeah like this because like it's kind of too long so I guess this should be okay like this um and then okay so I'm going to put three in one of them is gonna be the tallest one which is this one and it's gonna be this one because it's the unique one and it's small yep okay so for to stick it to the what are these called stems we're going to use the tape small pieces put the stick behind and tape it so this is your first flower kind of looks like a sun and for this um, the second flower. And finally, the last one. Right. So, these are the three flowers but this really doesn't look like a flower but it does somehow look like a type of flower that is probably usually you might see this kind of flower on a like water lily no not a water lily like those floating flowers that you see on in ponds sometimes I call them water lilies but water lilies don't really have flowers do they I don't know so like the flowers kind of look like this, but like it looks weird when it's like um, in what it looks like keep this. So basically, we're gonna make another like one of the one that we did down here on top, so that to keep the flowers together. So yeah, I'm gonna get another cardboard. Okay, so I've got another piece of cardboard, and I'm just gonna draw a circle on it. I don't really care what's the um, size because like I think I already know what's the size and then I'm just gonna draw like a hole here maybe a bit bigger and that's where you're gonna put in the flowers so they're stuck together okay And the center, you could bend it a bit, doesn't matter. Snip it. Okay. And put your scissor through the hole. And cut it. So let's just um, check if it fits. Well, I guess it does. So, oh yeah, I'm gonna color the top. What is that color? Um, I'm gonna color it. I don't know whether I should color it gold or silver. Gold or silver. What do you guys think? I guess I'll go with. Hmm. I guess I'll go with silver, I mean silver, yeah. Because like, I 
think it looks nicer, but it's just the same color and not mixed. But your, it doesn't matter because it's really is your choice. Uh, so I'm gonna okay, color it. So in. I've already cut it out and I cut a hole through it and I taped it too. So this is how it looks like. And now you could just add your flowers. Just make sure you're careful. And two. Done. So here's literally how the pot, like the flowers look like. Oops. Bouquet of weird looking flowers with gold, silver, and black. So, yep. So this is all like the whole video now and hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Comment below if you think this is like a really cute like DIY and like you could display it on the shelf maybe. Yeah. So bye. See you next time and Oh yeah, by the way, like tomorrow um, at the desert, I might create a blog if I could. I might. And if I do, um, if Ariana is here, then that means we could make another episode of Ariana Vlogs. So yeah, bye. See you next time. Hope you like it. Bye. Bye.